Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. I... oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Talk to you soon, dear. Another human. One was enough. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is... is... uncomfortable. It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Finally. Ugh. Need to tighten up my vices again. The voices in my head are getting louder.
I hope it will stop later. Henry's Bridge Park. I heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The Great Khans come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. Never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. All right. Bye. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask, because I don't know. I assume this is about something important? You're interrupting my research. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population. 
since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. If we must. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. If we must. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Yes, yes.
Again, you interrupt me. Why? Thank you. I strongly suspect that the source of the mutation is artificial, but the super mutants found nothing. Your fresh eyes may do better. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horns to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Yes, yes. What's up? Why does everyone always say that? What is this, the Hokey Pokey? See Heavens to Betsy, but Mr. Benny not a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Bumpkin. That crime doesn't pay. Oh no, dearie. Three makes a crowd. Talk to you soon, dear. What's up? Why does everyone always say that? Nice! Can I order room service? My, but that Lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. Ooh, those Night Stalkers, always carrying my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Got a problem, could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town and they just showed up again. Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Thanks. Much cooler up here. I love it. Our business is with the muties, not you. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. The muties would make a move. I'm sick of waiting. Can't wait to get the rest of our pay for this job.
Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. That happens, there's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. All right. See you. Someday, I miss being in the master time.
Grandma's so worried about her little baby. It's getting dangerous out there in the wasteland. Such a curious little munchkin, aren't you? What do you want to know? Oh, someone wants to hear Grandma's stories. What would you like to hear, Munchkin? I grew up in Vault 17. I never even saw the sun until I was 75 years old. That was when super mutants raided the vault and carried a lot of us off. Yes, Leo, I'm getting to that part. They made me one of them, and they put me to work in an army that was going to conquer California. A spy, sometimes an assassin. I killed a lot of folks for the master. Yes, Leo, you helped too. Oh, he was a nasty man, dearie. You don't want to know about him. He was the one who made that super mutant army I told you about. Oh, someone wants to hear Grandma's stories. Leo is a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. He tells me to do things. Terrible things. And sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep him quiet. You shouldn't say things like that where Leo can hear you, dearie. He doesn't like it. This old thing? Oh, I scavenged it off a wreck and clam it. Leo showed me how to make it all ready for chopping. Didn't you, Leo? Oh! He t well, of course there is, dearie. How else could I hear him tell me who to chop? Oh!
bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Finally. Spotted some humans down the road. Could be great cards again. Is there something else I can do for you? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II's never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. I'll be waiting. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh-oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the Stealth Boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides.
No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, Schumann. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... That's... brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. someone else. I don't bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds, but thanks to you, it seems a cure is on the way at last. Finally. Bother someone else. I don't want... Hello again, dear. Let it be lovely, dearie. I like how you handled Keen. Without the Nightkin around, Jacobstown would be much weaker than it is. See you. Freeside is the king's turf. Remember that. You want to travel to Freeside with ease, you hire a king. We're everywhere, and no one messes with us. Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. You must be new. Your tune will change, trust me. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. I wish I was there to see you take Benny down. Great to see you again. Great, what do you have? How much do you have to donate? Thanks, anything else? How much do you have to donate? Thanks, anything else? How much do you have to donate? 
Thanks. Anything else? Thanks for the donation. Every bit goes toward helping Freeside. shouldn't play in places like that, Fury. That's the sort of place Leo likes. But if you insist... Evening. What's up? All right, let's not waste any time. There are people out there to help, things to learn. Maybe not in that order, but let's get to it. I'm not exactly a mercenary. Taking out scumbags of this magnitude wouldn't cause me to lose any sleep. Is there something else I can do for you? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Yes, yes. What's up? I'm really very boring. You get better stories out of a freeside junkie. Oh, all right. I'm 30-ish. Well, late 30s. I was born west of here. I was an only child and spent most of my time with my mother. My father died when I was young and I never got over it. Oh, and I like medicine and reading books about failed pre-war socioeconomic policies. Right now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why hasn't some lucky man scooped this bachelor off his feet? Like I said, I'm boring. Some people do. I just don't. Look, I appreciate that you're trying to be friendly, but I'd just rather not discuss it. See you around. <laughs> 